I'm trying something new. I figured we'd try a stitch with me. I don't really have a proper setup, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, but what we're working on is a brand new start of Snow by Maxine Gad. These are all the thread colors, so it's all grays. Not very many. There's only 16 colors for this. The only one's missing is the Krynik, and I don't have that. But there's the picture. You can see her. She's gorgeous. And she will be known here from now on as Frosty Tits. Because, well, she's got snowflakes on her boobs. And that completely amuses me. <laughs> so, it's a brand new start. All on a 32 count linen. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to move the camera there. Let's wiggle everything around. So you can see my janky setup. <laughs> so I'm filming this upside down. So we will see how this goes. There we go. And as you can see, it's a brand new start. There's nothing on the fabric. It is a 32 count linen. I have only ever done uh, even weave and Ada, so this will be new for me too. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Got the pattern here, got the scissors, a highlighter. These are my scissors, which my scissor fob is a thing my son made me for Mother's Day. It says, Dear Mom, I love you a lot. I love how you do funny things and show me videos. Love, Riker. No, it goes this way, though. <laughs> Forgive me. Alrighty. So, got that there. Don't mind the wrestling. I'm finding the first color, which is 318. And this is how I start all my projects, although usually I have all the floss in a big container, not just on the table. It's much easier to find the right color that way. Alright, that's 310, 415. Three seventeen, three eighteen. So three eighteen is this color, and I've already got some started. So let's get that thread off of there. So actually, this would be a good way to show you how I do my threads. So as you can see, some of my thread goes this way. That's the floss from the bobbin. This is the part I cut off to stitch with. And I just wrap it around the top, throw things around, and I unravel it like that. Then you have this tail coming out of the ring. Since I don't use the ring holders, it works out just fine for me. Then I take my needle and I hook a thread and I just pull it out like that and then that just gets rewound Do -do 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 -do. like that and then how I thread the needle which most people don't I'm not a licker, I don't do that, I take the thread and I fold it over the needle and I pinch it and I just wiggle it through the hole threaded needle so that's how I do things now as for a start I do the typical start where you wrap over the th thread so that's pretty normal I'm just getting a drink Uh, 
All right. So what I need to do is get that out of the way and sit all hunched over and find my starting place. I don't typically measure. I just make sure my fabric's plenty big. And then I just pick a spot and I go for it. So I'm going to go for right here. And right there. And this has three in a row, like so. Oops, I dropped my needle. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. I've never done this small of a count, and I've never done linen, so this should be interesting. I usually do uh, over one over one on 28 count even weave, and I'm doing one over one on 32 count linen. I just figured I wanted to test myself on something new which I do all the time and so this is what I'm doing and I left a really big tail back there I can tell whatever I'll deal with it later and yeah. I normally two hand stitch um, but not like this it's usually propped up on my knee because I don't sit with my feet on the floor typically ever not even at work and I just kinda go for it maybe one day I'll get my husband to show a picture and then we can see what I really do just trying to make sure it's still on the screen which it is and this color doesn't really show up but whatever that's my goal for today is just whatever because you know what we're just having fun together I know a lot of you are at StitchCon and a lot of you are wishing you were at StitchCon and I'm just here in Michigan enjoying my air conditioning because the humidity is insane outside we go from rain every day to humidity. I hate humidity. I've hated humidity since I moved here. <laughs> it's the bane of my existence, I'm telling you. But this is where all my family lives. This is where my brother is. This is where my dad was. And it was just me in Colorado. At the time my mom still lived here, I stayed with a friend to finish high school. Um, and then I came back out here and I stayed with my dad. And that's basically what happened. I just never left. Okay, so four, two, skip one, two, two. Four sets of two. We can do that. There's one set of two. Skip one, do another set of two. And get a knot. <laughs> you all know how it is. There we go. Now the stitch is looking better. But yeah, I have this crazy idea. You all can tell me what you think. Is I love watching Stitch With Me's, which is why I wanted to do one of my own. But I kind of want to do a project start to finish where the only time I work on it is when I'm doing a stitch with me. Now, 
I'm not, and the project I choose that for is a Hade. Because I love my heaven and earth designs, and I'm insane. But, that is my idea. So, just wondering what you all think of that. And if that might be something you're all down for. Um, you can let me know in the comments, or you can message me on Instagram, or however you want to reach out. I, I'm there. I'm on everything. I'm on Snapchat, I'm on Facebook, I'm on TikTok, Instagram. Not on Twitch, so don't try and find me there. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Skip one, do one. Where did my needle go? Hello, needle. Where are you? There it is. Yes, this is how I am, even when I'm not stitching on camera. But, you'll have to let me know what you think of that idea. Because me personally, I like it. I think I would love to watch somebody stitch something as beautiful as uh, Frosty Tits here. On camera. Um, and I picked this one specifically because it's not insane with colors, it's just 16. Did go insane with this linen though, it's kind of hard to see, but I think I'll get used to it. And especially once I get a better setup too. So right now this setup's kind of meh. But I'm waiting for a piece for my stand. And I need a better tripod for my camera. That's all stuff that just has to come when it comes. Yeah, I never realized how hard it is to think of things to say while doing this. Um... I think I have a massive knot back here. So we are going to investigate. <laughs> I knew there was a long thread. I just want to make sure it's just that thread. Which I don't think it is. So now we're going to be doing the frogging on camera. All the frogging, right? Yep, there's a knot. I knew it. I knew it, says I. But at least it's the easy kind. Thread. Do, 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 do. Okay. Back in business. Where was I? What was we were talking about? How oh, I'm crazy and want to do a hate on camera. That's right. And I know that would be many, many hours. It would take us years and years to get through. But it could be fun, right? I think it could be. I mean, it's a commitment for sure. Are you guys wanting to commit to me for that many years? <laughs> sure, I won't drive you up the freaking wall. Well, you'll have to tell me. Um, I 
going to have to commit to this fabric for years and years too. Hmm. Well, I can do it. I can do anything I want because that's the way I am. I'm stubborn. My mom hated it. My dad thought it was hilarious. Of course, my mom hated pretty much everything I did that wasn't what she wanted me to do. But that's a story from the past. We've already talked about that. So moving on, how are you all? Did you have a good week? Were you, did you have any exciting things happen? I can't. Me, they switched my job at work back to the position I like. So I'm super happy. And I get to talk to people and nag them for money again. Some people, I swear. One person told me, okay, so where I work, it's a lawn care company. I know I've said that before. But how it works is day before you do the services, you get an automated call. And that call says, hey, we're coming out to do your services tomorrow. If you want to reschedule, call this number. And this lady's like, I have been telling the recording to cancel my services for months. And you keep coming out. She was telling the recording. And she called it a recording. I mean, come on now. You're talking to a recording and you expect it to respond? It's not... <laughs> I mean, I guess I should be glad she knows how to use a phone. I mean, she may have had to have somebody show her if she can't understand that she's talking to a recording. But, you know, she finally, well, she picked up the phone. She didn't call, because I called her. But, yeah, she wanted to cancel her services through a recording. I mean, that's better than the people who, because we can also accept chat messages, send a chat that says, cancel my services. No name, no phone number, no address, and they disconnect the chat. I can't cancel services if I don't know who you are. <laughs> I mean, that's just basic, right? But I guess one thing I've learned working customer service my whole life is basic intelligence need not apply. <laughs> And that goes for the people working customer service sometimes, too. All right, we got our first little bit there. Little tiny gray line. I don't know where my highlighter went. Highlighter, where are you? Okay, then. There it is. It was hiding. <laughs> so that's it's not gonna work. Not gonna work. We'll do it this way. I don't really care if you can see a corner of the pattern. If you can make this from that's 400 by 282 stitches from seeing 300. You're good. Yes, this is me. I actually make those noises when I'm stitching. My husband thinks it's hilarious. My kid is just like me. So. Yes, it's coffee that I'm drinking with a straw. Because I don't know why. I have a rainbow straw. I wanted to use it. And the coffee cup is an owl. I'm not going to try and show you though because it's full of coffee. 
All right. There's the needle. See the fabric? Ooh, I like this fabric a lot. I saw some project bags being made with it and whatnot. It's like I I need some. So I bought it like four months ago <laughs> and I haven't made a project bag with it yet. There's a bead. There is a bead under there. That goes to my child's weighted blanket. Let's get it out of the way because it's bugging me. <laughs> Sorry, I get obsessive like that. Okay. Yeah, my kid has a weighted blanket I'm in the process of making. Um, these are the beads. It's a six pounder bag. And I miscalculated my math very badly so that this is the blanket over here. It's galaxy. But I miscalculated so bad that half the bag was in this bottom square. So when I got there I was like I think there's something wrong because it's not supposed to be six pounds per six inches. It's supposed to be six pounds for the whole thing. <laughs> so I'm ripping out those stitches very slowly because I hate seam ripping. Hate it with a passion. So I stopped sewing so much. I used to run my own sewing business making aprons and stuff like that. Uh, the, I even made some burlesque costumes for some ladies. One of the ladies was a woman who had breast cancer and she'd had a double mastectomy. And she gave me the best compliment of my life. She told me I made her feel pretty again. I was in tears. I mean, going through all that and then having somebody custom make you a costume that makes you feel pretty again. That was... I don't think I'll ever be able to repeat that. And any other knot. I know I'd get less knots if I did shorter thread, but whatever. I like my long thread. And you're just gonna be a stubborn brand, aren't you? There we go. There we go. Be good. And don't warp the linen, please. Thank you. But yeah, that made me feel better than when my stuff was reposted on BuzzFeed. It made me feel better than when I was reblogged. It made me feel better than every other sale I'd ever had because I made somebody who'd been through a lot feel beautiful again and you know I don't know what it's like I've never had breast cancer I've I don't know but I can imagine it would be a blow to lose your breasts And not everybody wants to have reconstructive surgery done. Some people are just like, yeah, I don't. This is me. And she was one of those that she didn't want the reconstructive surgery. She wanted to not replace what had been lost, I guess. I don't know how to explain it because she never really has explained it to me. So it's not like we were best friends or anything. But the reason I stopped that was I can't deal with sewing the same thing over and over and over and over again. It just drives me batty. And I decided to stop. And now, while I do still, I'm still capable of sewing, I'm capable of sewing really great things if I choose to, 
I don't choose to. And there's another knot. All right, you naughty brat. Okay, let's figure this one out. All right, these strings are well and truly stitched in. So, they're gonna go. Bye bye. Hasta la vista. You're causing me problems. I just got burnt out with sewing. Same as I did with crochet, though I wasn't ever selling anything with crochet. I just, there's this beautiful blanket that I started making. It is gorgeous. It's called a Mandala Madness. And I have shown it on my channel before. And I was f so focused on that for so many months, many, many months, that I just got burnt out. I couldn't do it anymore, and just like with sewing, once I got burnt out, I had to stop. And then I picked up cross-stitch again, and I've been cross-stitching for a couple years now. But I think I've learned my lesson from the Mandala Madness, is don't work on one project. You'll burn yourself out and never touch it again. At least I will burn myself out and never touch it again. So that's why I have lots of whips. That's why I've given myself permission to be whippy. Get whippy with it. <laughs> oh boy. Are you sure you want to be on this ride with me right now? <laughs> Bad puns and all. all right, that one goes there. Skip one, do two. So the reason I started sewing a weighted blanket is because of my son. He was in the 24 hours of cross stitch videos. He does do his own cross stitch, just not very often. Um, he has autism. And if you don't know anything about autism, here's one thing you should know. Uh, weights and pressure actually help calm them down. And so, you know, we've done stuff. Riker has three or four blankets on his bed, stuff like that. But he specifically asked me for a weighted blanket. And so I started making one. And I got frustrated with it. Because I can't measure things properly, apparently. Measuring things and dividing and math is my husband's job. He helps with the math homework because I get frustrated. And when I get frustrated, nobody's having a good time. My friends told me I should do ASMR cross stitch videos because the sound of the needle and the, if you get your fabric tight which 
can't get this fabric tight in the cute snap. Makes interesting noises or satisfying noises, they said. I don't think I'm going to do that because ASMR videos bug me. Like, I get it. I get how certain things can have a satisfying sound and why people find them relaxing and enjoy them. I'm not judging that. I just... You know that condition that has been talked about where people chewing food and stuff like that really irritates them? Like to the point of anger and rage and stuff like that. Yeah, that's me. I guarantee you, if I can hear you chewing your food, I'm fantasizing about your death. Oh, maybe not that drastic, but I am fantasizing about throwing you off a cliff or something. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not actually that violent, but you get the gist. It makes me mad. Same with stuff like constant clearing of the throat. People are like, <coughs> <coughs> drive me absolutely, completely up the wall bonkers. And of course, at work I have one of those people on each side of me. So every morning it's <coughs> for like 20, 30, 40 minutes while they, I guess, warm up their vocal cords in the least efficient way possible. And it drives me up the wall every morning and I am the exact opposite of a morning person. I am a night owl. If left to my own devices, I will stay up all night and I will be happy and I will sleep all day and I will be happy and I will have a regular schedule where I will get up at a regular time, I will go to bed at a regular time, but my regular bedtime would be 4 or 5 in the morning and my regular time to wake up would be uh, somewhere between noon and 2. But I have a kid and I have a job you know, and I can't do that. I have to wake up at 6 every morning. And so I'm pretty much grumpy every morning. Don't do that. There we go. So I need lots of caffeine and I need lots of quiet in the morning in order just to pull myself together to go to work and tell people they owe money and have them tell me I've been canceling with the recording for months I'm not paying well canceling with the recording does no good you might as well walk up to the mannequin in the store and expect them to ring you up it's about as effective We have some good customers too. It's not that all of them are bad. 90% of the people I talk to, it's because their bank issued them a new card and they just forgot to get us the new information. So it's really not all that bad. But just like everything, the bad ones are memorable. took what? Half an hour, I guess? I don't know. Which isn't bad, considering I'm at a weird angle. I'm talking. And I can't see the fabric. There we go. <laughs> Actually, I can see the fabric fine. It's just I can see everything behind the fabric, too. <laughs> and that's what's throwing me for a loop. Go fallen now. You stay there. All right. The 
this is taking a lot longer than I expected it to. So we will do one more row and then call it good. And you all can let me know if you like the video, what I can do to improve it. If you like my crazy idea of stitching this haid in front of you in real time, half an hour to an hour a week. camera up. <laughs> Whap. Yeah. So, I know I've said it before, but I know StitchCon's going on right now, so I hope everybody is having tons of fun. Hope everybody there is having fun and enjoying themselves and not being anxiety ridden awkward penguins like me. I'm not feeling anxious right now, but I would be if I was at StitchCon. I am the definition of the awkward penguin. I will stand in the corner and stare at you. one of those introvert people. Introverts unite separately in your own homes. That's my philosophy. So I'm stitching here with you StitchCon ladies at my own house. How's that? this I do five. But yeah, maybe one day I will get to a retreat. Maybe not. I mean, I know there's supposed to be a lot of fun and everybody talks about them. And I'm sure it wouldn't be as anxiety inducing as I have it in my brain. I'm sure it's actually just fun, fun, fun and exhausting. But I have my family and I don't see them as much as I would like. And I would rather, no offense, spend my time with them and do my stitching here and talk to you on the camera then spend a couple days away from both my husband and my kid and that's not a judgment on anybody that's just me I mean plenty of people have way too much time with their families some people just need time to themselves or it's their self-care to get away and just talk to people who are into the same thing they are. And self-care is necessary. Don't ever let somebody tell you it's not. And it can take all forms. It can be running. It can be God, running. I don't understand those people. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> but it can be running. It can be reading, hot bubble bath, going and hanging out with people. For me it's more of I tune out the whole world and I listen to music. Whatever music I want. And that can be anything from Marilyn Manson to Hanson. Mmm <laughs> Me and the guy at work were talking about that, Travis. He was obsessed with Hanson as a kid. And yes, Maddie, you're going to be so embarrassed that I'm talking about Hanson. Because I know how you feel about them. But that's okay. 
They're never gonna replace Green Day, are they? Maddie's favorite band is Green Day. So if y'all like Green Day, comment down below. Let Maddie know that you love Green Day as much as she does. And I love Green Day too. They're one of my absolute favorites. But my music taste is very eclectic. I will listen to anything pretty much from rap to Chinese folk music to didgeridoo. Actually, I do have a CD of didgeridoo music I need to dig out and listen to. I've been missing it. I also have a CD of space sound sounds that NASA has recorded from different places and planets of the solar system and universe. I used to listen to that non-stop when I was like 17. Not really music per se, but it was, I don't know, something I enjoyed. <laughs> And then I asked, one of my favorite musicians is Lorena McKennett. Um, I, a lot of people haven't heard of her, but if you have, you know who she is. And you absolutely adore her. She makes, she's an, she probably wouldn't claim the title, but she's an ethnomusicologist, I guess. She researches the roots of music, but she's very specific. She researches the roots of Celtic music, where the Celtic music came from, where it started in the Middle East and evolved, traveled across Europe over into Scotland and Ireland and all those fabulous places, and how it changed from more of a earthy, Middle Eastern sound um, to what we know of as Celtic music now. And she has red hair, which I've always been jealous of anybody with red hair. It's my favorite hair color, so if you have red hair, I love it. <laughs> Don't you dare hate your hair, because I love it. Doubly so if you have curly, curly red hair, so Lindy Stitches. Looking at you, girl. Um, but yeah, she makes fabulous music. Um, and so I listen to pretty much anything. I'm not into country music. But that doesn't mean I won't listen to it if I have to. It's not so much that I think it's bad as it doesn't strike a chord with me. It's not up-tempo enough. I need my music to be very up-tempo and hyper and spastic. The more hyper and spastic it is, the more I like it. All right, that line is done. So we're going to call it a night. And I'm going to go see if this video is worth saving. <laughs> It'll get posted no matter what. But I don't know how much you actually saw of this little line right here. But we will see. I will work on getting a better setup. I will work on getting a stand work on all the things over time. Yeah. Alright, any questions, comment below. And I do want to say thank you to everybody. I had posted my last video on uh, Friday Night Off the Grid just you know, just to see if I could get more viewers, and I got so many more viewers, and so many people subscribed, and I just want to say thank you to all you lovely people. It's very much appreciated. Anyway, have a good night, and I'll see you next time.